30 seconds for people to come in. Oh. I did something to my chair. Oh no! That's not supposed to be there. Alright, so it looks like we have Houdini, Caff and Patchy, don't know how to pronounce that, Edward, and a few other people. Alright, 13 people watching, that's good enough to start. Game Informer! Yay. Uh, this is, uh, CC is also dual streaming as well on her channel on Twitch. Twitch! Here's the trailer. Yeah. Twitch! Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a trailer. Trailer. I wonder if I could do something real quick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So if I just go ahead and put this at the top screen, then maybe yeah i can do this all right give me two more seconds cc i'm gonna do something for all right you, you do you uh game video capture window capture Pokemans. All the Pokemans, CC. All the Pokemans. <laughs> no, it's not that. Smile for the camera. Hello. I did not show up. Alright, we'll start in just two seconds, guys. <laughs> there is an issue with... I'm trying to put the trailer up below our video, so mm. you can see eyes. the video if I downloaded it. Alright, two more seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> Did you know about the Pokemon trailer, CC? Um, I saw people posting it on Discord. Like, everywhere. <laughs> I didn't even know it was going to be a thing. How is it not showing up? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so it's ten more seconds. Do 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 do. Yeah, this is the time for everyone watching. If you haven't seen the trailer, to go and watch it for yourself, so you can follow along and know what we're talking about without it being spoiled. <laughs> Okay, so I have it up, it mm. is playing, we are recording, we are streaming, you're streaming, everyone's happy. <laughs> Alright. 
Let me just make sure that it's repeat, or that it's on repeat. Okay. So we are ready. All right, you ready, CC? We have 28 people watching on my side. How many do we have for you? One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Bob, thank you for the follow. Are you ready? I am ready. Uh, someone in my chat said, CC. Hello. It me. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? I am Jesse, or Game Over Jesse, as all of you may know me, and here with us on this discussion is Hylian Cece. Here I am. Returning from yesterday's, or last night's, Hylian Gamescast. Today we are going to be talking about Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Everyone either loved the rumors that were being leaked, or they completely hated them, so whether you loved them or hated them, whether you loved them or hated them, the rumors are real. Nintendo officially announced and revealed a trailer, and it is pretty awesome. Uh, we did a video a couple of weeks back. It was myself, RMFH Gaming, and Avery. And I am happy to say that a lot of the stuff that I said that I wanted or believed would be in this is actually in it. There is one huge thing that is missing and we will get to that cc starting off what are your reactions to this it looks beautiful like that was the first thing that came to my mind beautiful. i was like oh my gosh it's like the ds game but like prettier <laughs> that's the, the initial thought i had i was like oh my god look at them they're so like beautiful <laughs> yeah it, it looks like an updated version of basically sun and moon or ultra yeah. sun and moon the what they didn't show off if you could move with like the right Joy-Con stick, like move the camera. Yeah. But if you could, that would be awesome. If it, no, not the right Joy-Con. Yeah, it's the right Joy-Con stick. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Uh, they didn't show that off, so I'm interested to know if whether or not you actually can. Yeah. Or if they. One, have... That one thing that really stood out to me was like, throughout the entire trailer, everyone was using the motion. I'm not a big fan yeah. of motion control, like, at all, to be honest. I prefer not to use it at I all think... if I can. Um, but, I mean, if you're going to have it on a handheld, you know, on the Switch like this, there has to be a feature where you don't have to, like, move Yeah, it, like, you know? maybe, like, you can just flick the stick mm -hmm. because you're not going to move the camera around and battle. Yeah. So if you can, like, flick it to, like, a certain angle to throw the Pokeball a certain way... Like, if you throw it straight, then you're throwing the Pokeball straight, but if you flick the stick diagonal, then it'll be like a curveball, which yeah. might help catching certain Pokemon. Um, do Game Over Jesse, I can't hear you. Can you guys not hear? Mm. Go to my stream and tell me if you can hear me. Okay. It's on YouTube? Yeah. Because they should be able to hear me. Like, am I quiet or just not loud at all? I'm gonna check right now. Baba Bonza says they sound fine. Let me know, guys. There, there's 45 people watching. <laughs> I need to know if you guys can hear me. I'm super low. Game over, Jesse. Let me turn YouTube my mic up real quick. Live. I didn't really want to have to... Game over, Alright. You sound fine to me. Yeah, it sounds fine on CC's thing. I even heard it through the playback. So I, I don't know why you guys can't hear us. If you can't, refresh the page, turn it over. But thank you to the 50 people watching. I apologize for that <laughs> audio chat. But let's continue. Yeah, so depending on like whatever the Pokemon is, if you flick the switch diagonally, then maybe like you have a better chance of catching it, or maybe it's used for some sort of puzzle, or like in the overworld, if you had certain items equipped mm -hmm. to it. So like in, if you wanted to get on your bike, instead of having to go to the item menu or something, like the original, 
red and blue, or not red and blue, but like silver and gold, everything. Like whenever the bike was first introduced, you had to like pause the game, go to your bag, get it out, and then ride it. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, if they had it to where, like in Zelda, uh, they had stuff attached to like the sea items, or like, you know, the sea items. So mm -hmm. like if you press the diagonal stick up, then maybe if it's not working for the camera, then maybe it's like an automatic use for a certain item. Like you can program different stuff for the stick. So, but maybe uh, that's like such a small thing about everything they showed off there. Those Pokeballs. Those little mini Pokeballs that yes. you can buy and carry with you. I want one of those. I hope there is some way to like open them up and there's like a tiny little Pokemon inside, whether it's <laughs> Pikachu or Eevee. That'd be really cool. Like a like a mini amiibo. Because mm -hmm. they have the large amiibos with like the Detective Pikachu has like a giant amiibo and then Yoshi has a giant amiibo. So if they had a mini amiibo. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really cool. I have like a tiny little Pokemon inside. <laughs> and, uh, or maybe the Pokeball is the amiibo itself because it takes data from the game like mm -hmm. the normal amiibo would, except it has a few extra features. And they showed off Mewtwo at the yeah, very end. Yeah, at the very end. He yeah, looks massive next to alert. the child that you play. <laughs> yeah. He's like giant. No. There were parts of this to where they had like a giant Charizard or Onyx and then like some of the smaller Pokemon are riding on your head or walking behind you. But these giant Pokemon, it shows them like you're riding on top of them, like through the town and stuff. So I think that's really cool. Oh, wait, riding the Pokemon? Yeah, like there's like a in... scene where oh, the I'm character's in... like riding on top of an Onyx. Oh, I didn't and see that. I think that. they showed one where he was flying on a Charizard. I missed that. I mean, you could kind of do that in um, Sun and Moon, right? I think so. Yeah. I know, like, if you were on a water Pokemon, you will like, surf on them through the water. Mm -hmm. So. And then you could ride the... I'm, I'm really bad with all the Pokemon names, but you could ride <laughs> the, the one that looks like a giant, like, buffalo throughout the, the town. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could do that on Sun and Moon. Like the... I forgot about that. You can't fight wild Pokemon? I don't know if I'll so, buy it. Wait, you can't fight wild it, Pokemon? Yeah, they're, like, I'm watching the trailer right now. He's literally fighting a wild... Yeah, I was gonna say, I saw him in the tall grass in, at part of the trailer also. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's wild Pokemon. It's basically a combination of... Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Go and Pokemon Gold and Silver. Well, we, we don't have any confirmation on the Gold and Silver part. That's like, we know we're going to be in Kanto. We don't know if we're going to be in the other place. Unless Nintendo made some sort of official statement. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they're saying multiple Twitter sources um, said there's no wild encounters. Jesse froze! Oh no! Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. You're back. Okay, you yeah, too. Yeah. You froze out on my side too. <laughs> yeah, so like this, I know a lot of people wanted something that was a different art style than with Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon, but the way this looks, I'm happy with it. I was like, gonna say, I'm know. actually pretty happy with it. Yeah, like, there's a lot of people that would have loved something different. Like, but, in what sense? Yeah, like, if you look at Pokemon game, like, on the 3DS, they had Pokemon X and Y, which looked a certain way. It was like really chibi art style. And then they had Sun and Moon, which was basically what we're seeing now. Just on the 3DS and not the Switch. So, like even though both games are on the 3DS, it switched art styles and graphic styles. So, with this, like this is the first Pokemon game 
on the Switch. So maybe the next big Pokemon game on the Switch, when it comes out, it will change the art style. Mm-hmm. And maybe they just like reuse this because... as a starter, like kind of a push. Yeah. 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 Because they already had the art style. They didn't mm-hmm. have to work on it as much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like. Did you think all of these rumors were true when you first seen them, or did you just, like, ignore them thinking they were dumb? I personally ignore, um, spoilers. They're definitely fun to look at in the sense, but I try not to think too deeply into them, because half the time they're fake, half the time they're legit spoilers, and I'm not the type that cares about spoilers. I know a lot of people are like, what are you doing? Don't post spoilers, which... In some sense, I do think it's disrespectful to the company, but personally, I could care less about spoilers. So I didn't think too much on it when I saw the, you know, the spoilers. I was like, oh, that looks that looks pretty. <laughs> Again, yeah. you know, it's, it it caught my Woodford eye. And the it, chat says cool mug. Cool mug. Oh, T Y, S M. Yeah. So like with the spoilers, I had a few people that were telling me that they were true. Mm-hmm. But. Like, there was another uh, leaker that I know who got popular really quickly for being a leaker. I put that in quotes. And then there was a bunch of people that came forward saying that they were purposefully giving him, like, fake information. Mm -hmm. Because they wanted to expose him or whatever. But, um, so, like, with situations like that, you never know how real leaks are. If it's just someone wanting to get attention by getting stuff but yeah so whenever i had people telling me like oh pokemon's gonna do this it's gonna be this it's gonna have this in it i didn't know if it was just someone like just trying to talk to their favorite youtube person or Mm -hmm. if they were actually being serious so like i don't know like there's a lot of people that were saying that there was going to be a Pokemon announcement this month, but then it got to where it's like three days left until the end of the month. And that's like, well... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> like, it didn't happen the first 28 days of the month. I don't think it's going to happen on the last three. But it apparently it did. And this was Nintendo's... This was likely the best-selling game for next year. It's going to be this game, because Pokemon games always sell amazingly well. Oh, wait, I didn't even see the release date. I just saw November. This November, right? Or next November? No, it's releasing this year. Okay, okay. Wait, you... Okay. (laughs) But the thing is, like, with this, Uh it's just, like, I don't know why they wouldn't save it for E3. Maybe their E3 is going to be so packed they didn't want to have this trailer in, or maybe they wanted to build up excitement a week or Yeah, two I was going to say maybe they're building the excitement, maybe they have more to show at E3. Yeah. Yeah, I... Like, everyone's going to be playing this at E3. So, you're, mm-hmm. like, when we go out for Korean barbecue, you and RJ are going to hear me bragging about how awesome Pokemon uh-huh. Because... Yeah. What's it called? And then... What do you think well, of, um... Incorporating Pokemon Go? I think that's an awesome idea. Yeah. Which, uh... The video that I mentioned earlier with Rick and Maverick, we were talking about how we thought Pokemon Go would connect to uh, this new Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Mm-hmm. And it's been, like, the stuff that it showed off is basically what I said. Because... They thought it was just going to be like, you can, or one of them thought it would be that you can just check the stats of the Pokemon and it would be a very linear experience. Mm -hmm. But what I was saying, which is what it's showing off, is like, you can just like literally transfer your Pokemon to Pokemon Go and then take it back to the Switch, which I think is going to make a lot of people more excited to be playing Pokemon on their cell phone because now it's not not only are you battling with random Pokemon you caught in Pokemon Go but all of those Pokemon that you caught on Pokemon Go you can have so, on your yeah, Switch you can just start over and like switch those to your Switch pun intended <laughs> and it'll be 
But, like, you'll have a deeper connection with those Pokemon. Yeah. So, I'm excited for that. But we're going to change this up. And we're going to go back and forth. And we're going to list five features that we really want to see in this game. So, five things that we haven't seen just yet. Uh, I'll do number one. You'll do two. I'll do three. You'll do four. And then maybe we can come together on a fifth one. Okay. So... The first feature that I want is we've seen co-op multiplayer, where mm-hmm. someone can literally take a Joy-Con and drop in. I want to see online multiplayer like that, to where you and I, me and Daniel, Kayla and I, or whoever, can play these games with each other on our own Switches. Yeah. Obviously, you'll be able to battle mm-hmm. with people, but... Uh, Because Pokemon's always had online battle function, online trading function. They even added that to the original yellow and red. Or, well, I forget which one. Yellow, red, and blue, I think they brought to the 3DS. And they added in online stuff for that. So with this game, I want them to take it to the next step and make this co-op. Like, maybe they had that in the original trailer, and then at E3 they'll announce, Hey, we introduced co-op in the first trailer. Now this is the full extension of that, where it is like huge online multiplayer, where you're walking around the world with a friend, not just sharing a Joy-Con. Yeah. And then uh, they can have their own Pokemon. You can have your Pokemon, and it's not like they're just using your Pokemon, which is what it seemed like from the trailer, to where like when someone uses your Joy-Con, they just use pokemon that you already have yeah and then you guys were both catching the same pokemon yeah so online multiplayer is one thing that i want that they didn't show off so what is one thing that you want (sighs) cc it's difficult for me (laughs) i haven't played a lot of pokemon games to be honest i played the, one of the ones on the GameCube and Sun and Moon and like one of them on the Game Boy. So it's not particularly like my style of like game that I love, love, love. Um, so it's really hard for me to say what features I want specifically in Pokemon because when I think yeah, of video games, I think of like your addiction. Yeah, it's Zelda and Fortnite. Fortnite, I think of, like, open world and, like, no restrictions. <laughs> but I know yeah. that's not going to happen with Pokemon, so it's hard to say, like, that that's what I want, because it's not very realistic. It would be awesome if it did. Right? I think that's something everyone wanted, was, like, a true open world. That would be Pokemon, really cool. The... Like, um... Yeah, but we're the... Of the original. Which Maybe one? they did like, go too far out there. Like, one so, of the like, ones... they, they wanted to keep the structure the same. Yeah. Where the original wasn't open world, so if they would have made this one open world, then fans of the original would have complained. Yeah. So the, they're doing the linear structure with this one, and then the next original game is going to be this huge open world-ish type thing. To where that would be awesome. It doesn't necessarily have to be open world, but, like, you can visit... Instead of visiting one gym and then having to visit the second, the third, maybe you can like visit them in any order you want yeah. so that you can really go to, uh, it makes it, like opens it up a bit more than yeah, it has I been agree. in past games. Yeah, because one of the things that I remember when I played it on the GameCube, I think it was, um, I don't remember, but you, you remember which ones they were, right? I don't think it was yeah, Coliseum. Yeah, like Pokemon Coliseum. I think was it was not, XD. Um, Gale of Darkness. Or that was, one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when... I think it was Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. That one. So I remember when I was, like, let's say, in Town A. I had to go to Town B. And there was that whole, like, cut scene in the middle of you just riding your scooter to get from point A oh, to yeah. point B. And I was like, it'd be really cool if I could just walk myself and explore on my way to that town you know so that was something so that's something that kind of came to my mind when i thought like open world things like that i know with um sun and moon they didn't have that problem yeah 
Except a couple cutscenes where you were riding the Pokemon from one island to the other. Yeah. Hmm. Well, the third thing, or I guess the second thing that I would want, the third thing here is... I would want them to either introduce this as free DLC, or it would be DLC that I would be happy with, which is... In Pokemon Go, they began with just the original 150 Pokemon. Mm. And later on, you would get updates to where they released, as free DLC, the second generation or the third generation. So it was like four or five, six months, however long after Pokemon Go came out, they released whatever the next generation was. So with this game, if they did something similar, that way... And I've used this example before. Let's say you're a huge fan of Generation 4. Mm -hmm. Like, that's your all-time favorite generation. But you still like Pokemon in general. Mm -hmm. So you buy this game, you play it, you beat it. And instead of just taking it, trading it in, or selling it to someone used, you keep it. That way, once the update releases for Generation 4, and you replay it, it's like playing through a completely different game because mm-hmm. now you suddenly have all of your favorite Pokemon to play with and start over whereas before you only had the original 150 which maybe someone who's newer to the series may not be that familiar with yeah so uh, yeah and then maybe after a like one full year so every two months they'll release a new generation so after a full year you have all seven generations of Pokemon, and that's a way to make the longevity of the game stay. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Because it looks like which... it's starting with the original 150. Mewtwo was part of the 150? The original? Yeah, he was yeah. 150, and then Mew was 151. So, people say 150, because it's an even number, but it was really 151. And then even in the original anime, there were Pokemon that were in the second generation that weren't officially announced yet. Like, mm. the very first episode uh, starts or ends with Ash seeing Ho-Oh, which is a legendary from the second generation. Mm. And then Misty's always carrying around a Togepi, which is also a second generation Pokemon. Okay. So there were, like, the first <laughs> generation anime had all of, uh, not all of, but a lot of the newer Pokemon that wouldn't be announced yet. Mm-hmm. So they kind of mixed them in the anime, but the original was 151. Uh, so yeah, what's the fourth thing that you would like? Maybe a little more then... variety between the two, because I remember when I got Moon, my boyfriend RJ got Sun. I don't know what expectations we ex- specifically had, but we're like, oh, it's basically the same game, which I guess makes yeah. sense. But it's just like, I don't understand why it's split. So I guess what I'm saying I want is like a little more variety between the two. So that it feels yeah. like, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, there, there have been Pokemon games where they released and they feel almost identical. It's just a few Pokemon that are different. But then there are ones where they actually try to make it feel a lot different. Mm-hmm. So if they go in that route with this one then not only does it give people more variety so like if you got Eevee and I got Pikachu Mm -hmm. then maybe my experience would be a lot different from yours yeah and it would entice people to buy both versions rather than like oh I already have Moon like it's literally the same thing why am I going to get that one Um, yeah so instead of Nintendo getting $60 from me they would get $120 (laughs) Someone in my chat, Deluxe, says he wants your figures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go through and link and everyone. And then... Um, Celia says, Cough, original 190 Pokemon. Cough, cough. <laughs> original 190. Yeah, what? I haven't heard that. Was that a joke? I don't know. Original. Celia. Tell me, Celia, tell me. Mm, But she's really excited about this game, she said. Oh. 
so there was originally 190 Pokemon, but 39 were removed and added to the second generation. Oh, yeah, that's what she said right now. Yeah, they had had to cut okay. a bunch of Pokemon from the first gen, so it's built over to the second. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Heard about yeah. that. I guess it kind of gave them a boost when they were trying to come up with more Pokemon. <laughs> Which there were other Pokemon um, that were just cut all together, like their designs were just removed completely. Take so, out. like there was the um, a popular one that they recently announced was like the third evolution of Pikachu, like Garchu, Garchu, whatever the name was. <laughs> it was supposed to look like a horned Raichu. Oh gosh. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess the the last thing, and then we can end this discussion. I want. Wait, what did I say the first time? I'm so I get so confused. <laughs> I don't know if we talked. To... No, I I don't know if we talked about it at the very beginning or if I mentioned it when we started the second part. But whether I did or not, I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Online multiplayer. Yes, that was like the, like, that I'm was going, your number one thing you mentioned. Yeah. So I'm going to stress it again. I want online multiplayer so bad. Uh, since I did mention that, I will say that I want to control the camera angle with the right Joy-Con mm -hmm. stick. Like I want to be able to move the camera angle around. But Me too. I want to stress. I want online multiplayer nintendo the pokemon company game freak everyone who's involved with this game please <laughs> listen online to us multiplayer. yes uh let us be able to walk around voice chat which we'll probably have to use discord anyways i was gonna say couldn't function. couldn't you do that in sun and moon i'm trying really hard to remember because i know i used to battle with rj but I think we ran around together a few times. As long as we had each other as friends on the DS, we were able to play together. I have no idea. Because I, I battled Valkyrie, I know that, but I don't know if we were... We didn't, like, play in the story together. But I think with RJ, we played in the story together. I don't remember. Do any of you guys know? I don't think they had that, because that's something that everyone wanted. But if they did, then I completely forgot. <clears throat> Which I've mostly played Pokemon games single player, anyways. Mm. Unless it was just trading to someone through Facebook or something. <clears throat> but anyways, that brings us to the very end. Thank you to the 40 people that are still watching. I think it got up to like 50 to 60 at one point. Thank you to everyone who's watching CC's stream as well. TY uh, where can people find you, CC? Twitch.tv forward slash highly and CC. Nice. Alright, and you can find myself everywhere at Game Over Jesse. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, everything is slash Game Over Jesse. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. And thank you, CC, for joining me on this very last minute Pokemon news. <laughs> My chat's like, what? It's over? <laughs> Sorry, Deluxe. Yeah, we, we only had the one topic. Last yeah, night just... we went for four hours on the Hylian Games cast, so tonight it's just uh, 30 minutes. So. Pokemon. Sorry, guys. I'll probably... But I'm sure CC is going to be doing something. You can watch her and her. Uh, <gasps> what, what do they call you? Oh, uh, what was it? Snack? Yeah. Someone... You can watch CC and her snack. So. Oh. Someone in Jesse's chat commented and was like, they called me a snack. Like, <laughs> I'm edible. JK, not really. Um. But yeah, thanks for coming by, guys. On my end of the stream, I will go live again later. I am downloading a game right now. We're going to give it a try once it's done downloading. So, All right, bye guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Jesse, don't hang up. Bye. I'm not. I was ending the stream. <laughs>